truck yet. I've got yet, I can hardly see because I'm in the, the therapy greenhouse here today. I've had, I had to make a video of this because, uh, well, let's just say it was something that was peeing us off, so I'm going to fix it if I can because I'm on a bit of a streak just now. So, um, first of all, a big shout out to Gaza the Great 78 from Coatbridge. Hey Gaza, uh, I hope this is slow enough for you to understand. If no, put the captions on. Right, that's that done. So what have I got today? Well, I've spent a fortune on these, um, the, the, the solar, the wee solar light and crap like that, right? So the last thing I've got is, is these solar topiatry balls, right? Now, I've actually, I've not been working for a while. The topiatry ball has, but the lights in them haven't been. So, what I've done was, as you can see here, right? Now, this blinding is a bit, there you go, right? So, it's, it's, oh, it's in a right to any of this. Now, there is probably ways of cleaning it up, but this one's fryer tucked because, as you can see, the wires are out of it. So, and plus the battery head's all rusty. Um, where's the batteries, right? So, now there's the batteries that have come out of them, okay? So, as you can see, this one on your left, my right, okay? That's roosty, so. I think that, to be fair, I think they're both short, so. So, I thought to myself, right, Gaza said he would like to see um, my Janur rotary tool getting used for some purposes. Now this thing is phenomenal, to be honest with you. It's, um, I've done quite a few things with this and I've basically bought it for the carving and whatever, but I've decided to show its flexibility again, right? Um, now, but I've got behind me on this one here is, okay, so as you can see, again, this is short, right? But when I open it up, right, the wires are attached to the solar panel. But the wire here, this, this red one for charging the battery, it's off. Plus, the connection for the battery is a rusty poo. Now, to be fair, there's loads of ways. Um, I, I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, the latest thing was rust removal using vinegar. Um, I, I was watching a thing last night as well with a battery charger and the metal plates and you stick it in a tub of water with caustic soda. Um, oh, that, that, was, that was really fascinating. But to be fair, this, this is just a wee project, okay? So, now, although the tapiatry ball itself um, it's starting to age because it's, it's perishing with the heat we sitting outside all year. Um, there's bits are falling off of them. Um, there's, it's just, uh, it's past its sell by date, shall we say. But I'm hoping to get these lights in here to work. So if they do, and then it means I could buy another set and I can maybe get the use out of this solar panel. So, here's the tools I'm going to need. Uh, screwdriver, but I've done that bit. So that's, that's our part. Right, so the next thing would be to clean it, which is what the Janur rotary tool is going to do. And, oh, hang on. That's my bottle away. Right. Uh, and the last thing is, now, I tell you what, I'm, I'm a great lover for Laldi's. I love their tools. So, um, I'm needing a solder. So I've actually got myself a new soldering iron um, and it's got a wee station in it uh, where you can keep it plugged in because down there I've actually got my... that's how I've come into here actually because I'm, I'm really wanting to see how versatile my inverter is so it'll be interesting to see if it powers up something like this uh, Now it's only 30 watts 
the inverter is 1200 watts, so I'm expecting it should work no bother. Now, a special thing as well about this soldering iron set, it's got holding hands on to it. Um, <laughs> bought a set of them as well, but now that I've got that into there, so I've got a set over there, I've got a set over here. So, uh, so once that's clean, I've got a fresh battery over there. Oh, another thing I need as well before I forget. You need one of these, right? A digital multimeter, right? So, what do you need the digital multimeter for? Well, I love, I'm trying to learn a lot about this kind of thing, and this is what I love about YouTube is just people tinkering. Now, it could be one of the most stupidest videos out there, but if it interests me, like it interests me, 72 subscribers, by the way, I've got a new one, and uh, welcome whoever you are, because it doesn't tell me who it is, so, uh, Gaza, you were 71, it's no you. Anyway, back to this, I actually used this, now, uh, to, to measure if this solar panel was still working, and lo and behold, it actually is. So that's the reason for doing the project. So, all I've got to do now is take this metal bit out, use the Juno Rotary tool to clean it with a wire brush, put it back, well, before I put it back in, I've then got to right solder this wire on, okay? And then after that, before I put it back together again, I'll see if the solar panel is actually putting power through to this. So, let's get started. Right, first things first, I need to get this out. Well, that was easy. Look. So, I'm now going to get my soldering kit out, but although I'm not going to use the soldering kit, I want to use the helping hands just now, just to keep a hold of this wee metal bit, and I'm going to clean this up, okay? So, hang on a second to go and get this bit set up now. Now, to be fair, I'm actually well excited about this. For the money, it's a very robust thing. There's your uh, soldering iron. And as you can see, it's separate for the wee box. And the wee box, are like that's for when you're using it, right? Very strong and robust and stuffed with that. So I'm looking f well excited to getting uh, the soldering done. But I love this bit. Now, there's a wee tray there. That's where you put a wee sponge in. And that's for cleaning the, the solder off your tip to keep it clean, right? This is, a, by the way, a uh, disclaimer. I'm no professional welder here, so uh, I'm still in the learning phases of soldering. Now, I'll lift that up, and you'll see it's on a wee pedestal kind of thing, right? And then what I'm going to do is, because this is the rusty side, I'm going to hold that into there like that. Now, we'll get the, get the rotary tool out next. Right, so here goes now. So we're set up. Um, I've I've done all the the adjustments to the to the junior, right? And what I've done is I've actually, as you can see, I've got my extension here, okay, and there's the old junior, right? And that keeps it there. Now, the thing is, I'm going to just put it right on the, up to max, okay? Because I've, I've used my extending wand, okay, and as you can see, I've got a wire brush into it. Now, this is actually a bit of tightness of what I use this actually. Um, this is a great, great wee piece of kit. This I really, really, really do like this. Um, now, there you go, guys. If you're wondering what that is, a round allen key. It goes into here into the hole. Right, and basically, when you put it in, it locks the chuck. Right. Oh, shot myself up. Right, there you go. Now that's that done. So, and now I'm going to wait to see how bonny and how quick 
I can get this. Now, might want to turn the volume down because this could probably get loud. Now, I'm not sure if it's vibrating because of uh, this. So that's not really a great, but that, that's made a difference. I mean, look, to be fair, uh, but I think if I get a better hold on it with a pair of pliers, right, that might be better. There you go. Bring this down a bit. Well, to be fair, it's working right, but I thought I clean the other side. I just want to show you. Oh, damn. Don't! No, I just want to show you the, the difference on the both sides. So, now this bit of brain here, this is the rough side for the viewers that didn't really understand what I was doing. But to be fair, here are not using the vinegar now. This is. This is very quick. Also, remember wear your safety goggles. At all times when you're doing these kind of things. Right. See that? Mm -hmm. I can even clean my pliers up while I'm doing this job. Tell you what, I'm impressed with that. Look at that. Now that is just a flimsy bit of metal, but look how clean that's come now, right? So, now that we've got that far, uh, right, that's the crap in. Right. So, as you can see in here now, right, this is, uh, what am I? Uh, I, need, I just want to get some of this dirt out of here, eh? So. And there you go. That was that simple. Now, I've got to be careful because what I don't want to do is end up. I've lost the butt. Oh, there it is. It's okay. Found it. Right, so stick that into there, right? Now, to be fair, no point in getting wire crimpers out for this because my nail will be strong enough. Maybe no. Right, now, that's my god, the wires are thin, eh? So, now this is this is the bit, to be fair, that lets me down because, um, as I said, I'm not really a solder expert, right? Well, to be fair, I'm not really an expert at anything, but... <laughs> but if this works, well now, I'll hit unplug this, right? Now, so we're now at a part two with this. Um, now, so as you can see, they're, they're still attached, but these are, this is what I'll watch because these are very, very flimsy. And I've got to watch with that because that is letting in light. So, 
Well, there's a good instructions which I never use. But there you go, they're going to come, I knew they would come in handy for someone. Now that, believe it or not, stops the light, okay? What light? No bad, what light yourself? <laughs> oh, good. Right. Right, that's plugged in. So as you can see, right, it's, uh, I'm touching that just now. Now, I think, how positive have I got another head with that? Oh, come on. Yeah, man, there's a body in the bottom, isn't there? Someone, someone slid out of this. This had a tray. Oh, there it is. There, look at that. Now, this is a wee hidey hole that's in the back of this. Right. So you do that. And this wee tray comes out. Now, so here's what I was, what I was wanting to show you, right? So it's come with a flat, it's like a flat head screwdriver tip. This one's a... Uh, oh yeah, look at that's hot. Um, <laughs> forgot that was plugged in. <laughs> right, yeah, so I've got that. Um, that that's your wee doodah that sits in here. Put a wee bit of water onto that. And then that's for cleaning the head, all right? Uh, that's that's quite thick solder, eh? Wow. Uh, solder. Now, this has got flux core built into it, right? But what that means is, I've got I've got this flux, right? Oh, yeah, I'll get that out of the way, right? So I've got that flux that I use against this. I've had this rolled for years, but it still works. But this is brand new, right? And let's see. Before I put that away, let's see if this will actually work. Now, uh, I'll just point to this. Uh, right, so then you are seeing it. So, now, the mistake I used to make was, was to put my solder onto the rod. But it's not really, what you want to do is heat the bit of metal up, weigh your solder in there, fire! I'm not sure, but that's holding that. Okay. Now, multimeter. Right. Let's see if I can get you onto the multimeter. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to watch this on the wee screen, right? And uh, so if I go to right, I'll go to twenty, because that should be enough. I should get someone onto this. Now basically what I'm doing is I'm going to the positive pin and the negative pin. And it's showing nothing. Okay. Now So now we've got this and let's see what we get. So there's the positive. Oh, the negative just jumped out as well. And we're getting none. Oh, wait a minute, am I on the right? I'm not on the right thing, am I? Or am I? Yeah, I should be. Uh, let's, let's try the voltage in. Right. No, it was right enough, it was, it is the amps it should be on to. Right, so what have we done wrong then? Or, yep, they're actually still in, I actually got something earlier on out of this. So I'm very, very surprised at this, that I'm not getting a reading now. 
So that was the reason I went to the bother of doing this. Uh. Ah, see? So there is a reading, that is getting a reading of 1.13. So, these are attached. This still works. But for some reason or another, oh, I'm not getting nothing at this end. Oh, there you go, 0 0.27. 0 0.12, 0 0.10, 1, 1, 0.09. But to be fair, eh, it's a... Uh, it's not really lightly brightly here, but compared to, I hope that's actually shown up on the screen with the digits here because it would be great if you could actually see this. So that was that. So that's coming in. There you go. So there's definitely power into that, okay? Whether it works or no, um, different kettle of fish. I'm going to actually stick a battery into this and I'm going to just leave this sitting here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, and what I'll, do, I'll come up with a tapiotary ball update if this works. That'll do. Right. That makes actual sense, does it? Okay. So, so what I'm hoping is, oh, there you go. What I'm hoping for is, is that when I put a new battery in here, I've got one over there in, in, in the therapy workshop there, right? Uh, and if that works, this, oh sorry, this, what I've just done here works. It should charge the battery and put some power into it, which will then in turn get these working. Okay, so there's there's one of the, one of the wee LED light things there. So, <sighs> not been a success, but it's, it's not been a failure So because that's still there. And I've still got the, bit to clean there for at the top so for the because as you can see the the muck and the mess on that is just ugh, it's just grime for throughout the years um uh, to be fair i was just going to be throwing the thing in the bin anyway so we'll get someone out of it. but i'll follow it up i hope you've enjoyed this uh guys uh, i hope you enjoyed seeing the janeur okay so and to be fair Use this as much as you can because it's a it's a, a belt and wee bit of kit that I really do like that. So I'm going to sign off now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I would love a like if you did like this. If you're new to the channel, thanks for sticking around. You've been here that long, and if you did like it, please hit that subscribe button. So till the next one, I'll see you.